my sight shall reach past the ruthless dunes. A solitary raven, as my soulmate, whose intentions towards me I allow myself to doubt. As everyone here is by their own. Small, unfortunate seeds champion against an unwilling, stormy climate where venomous predators luxuriate. I, therefore, brace myself. As I, as I, as I, as I. I've been on many traveling caravans with experienced and spirited folks. We kept our eyes vigilant for danger praise each turn. I can't afford to let them down. I am now one in this vast wasteland. My leather boots burn my weary feet. Meditating my next crucial move Staining the liquid salt on my eyebrows. My intentions would prevail. <laughs>
What is it to be a man? Is it to be romantic? Fueling its own nostalgia with dreams of death in battle? Submitting its body to hard privations, gaining the curse of martyrdom? Leaving this world in a blind and passionate fashion in the arms of a consuming mistress? Stupidly jumping off the Schlaffenberg, dying on a piano of an unexpected but inevitable sickness, with a still dripping quill in the left hand depicting unbalanced emotions in sheet music, a deforming lens aimed at a small fraction of the human catalog, or in the case of our contemporaries, depicting a long, overexploited duality between good and evil, as if the choice was a puzzling dilemma. Attacking a god killed over three centuries ago, counterfacing the camera you borrowed money to pay for, implying references to esoteric Delphi is creating a non-existing mystery around oneself. What is it to be a woman? Being sat on a beach? A long monologue glorifying impossible loves? Smoking cigarettes with boredom? Enacting its own death in a car accident? Maybe quit it all at 27? Impressing some naive teenagers who can't but think that suffering is deep? Clearly there must be some other themes who please both to mind and body. While petitioning for genius and greatness, maybe give a listen to Foray and Bach, to the Greeks, Mill, and ironically, the great Goethe. They are all brilliant men who worked hard. Still, they can't be placed above manly affairs because concerning those, no one ever saw nor heard. They remain interesting as photographs which depict some of many human features.